Alright guys, this is a day in the diet of Greg Lock Fitness and first things first, we're going to be having our D-Bowl tablets, I mean Clen tablets, no they're just really paracetamol with a bit of caffeine and something else in, as you may hear in my voice, I'm a little blocked up today and I've got a little headache. Also, we're going to have a having it with some Coppella orange juice, probably just a glass of this. So, don't know about 300 milliliters. Okay guys, first meal of the day. We have got one piece of toast with some light butter on it. A whole avocado and two poached eggs which were cooked in water and not oil. So it makes it a little more healthy. And as you see the protein shake's just fallen over it wants it. So that's 28 grams of protein in there. Uh, use USN ISO Grow Whey. And with my meal I've also got a toffee nut latte to uh, swill it all down with. What's going on guys, just checking in before the gym. So yesterday I had a low carb day, which was not planned, but you know, not every day we can hit our macros 100%. So, as you can see, the abs are showing. Um, we're just gonna make our pre-workout meal today, training by ourselves today, I think. And then we are gonna go and hit some back and biceps. Unfortunately, still no gorilla pods, so. Won't be able to make any uh, engine footage until like someone comes and trains. Dan, where the fuck are you, mate? Where are you? Um, it should be coming back this week, but we'll see what happens. So in this household, we don't need a plug for the sink because people just leave their uh, leaves, carrots, and um, don't know what the fuck that is. It looks like a piece of celery. So we just gotta let that soak into the couscous. Uh, it's roasted vegetable couscous, currently on sale if you live in the UK in St. Marie's. 50p, Ainsley Harriet. Bang, look at the peak, man. The peak is getting better. I'll tell you, my arms are currently 16.6 .6 inches. Um, that's without a pump as well, so they are getting much, much bigger. Also, you may be a, I saw you staring at that box of Cheerios. We're about to go and eat a bowl or two of Cheerios as well. Also, if you wondered where the videos were over the weekend, I decided to have this weekend with no videos, but I think, what's the point? Next weekend, there will be videos every single day now. There will be a video, potentially even two. I might start doing a My Opinion series or something like that. Just let me know if you want in the comments, uh, anything like that. Thanks a lot as well for all the likes, comments, and subscribers. We're on 565 subscribers so far, 565 out of 1 million. The 1 million is the goal. Reach out to as many people as I can and help as many people as I can. That meal is the couscous and just one bite of Cheerios. The milk that I used in the Cheerios, semi skimmed. Oh, yeah, still no curtains, which I think is a complete joke because. I was told today that the people would be here to fit the curtains and nope. Here we go. Can we go to the gym about five or six? It's currently half five, so bang on in the middle for you, George. Oh, he's out with a bird, so I had to um, tell him he's never going to get these gains if he carries on the way he is. It's your choice, only you can sway the sails. Alright guys, we are now off to the gym, we've had our pre-workout meal, also had some branch chain amino acids, swigging up the pre-workout now, and then I'll check in again after the gym. Alright, so we just got back from the gym guys, that was literally one of the best sessions that I've had in a long, long time. Definitely the best session of 2017. Hopefully I can mimic a session similar to this and get it on record. It was extremely high intensity. This is our post-workout meal. It is a litre smoothie, which has 760 calories in the whole litre. And four, let's get some focus action. It's the lighting. Four Sainsbury's multigrain bagels. So uh, loading up on the carbs, refueling our glycogen stores, whilst also getting in a lot of calories and a lot of anti-inflammatories, which is extremely beneficial after training. I did wake up extremely late, but that is no reason for me to miss any calories in, so I'll probably be eating till late. It's currently uh, just past 8 o'clock. And if you're wondering, yes, I do eat the bagels plain. I mean, you can cut it up and put some chicken or something on if you want, but 
I'm just gonna sit here now and um, eat them plain. All right, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I saw these on offer one pound and uh, I had the whole bag, so. Don't know the macros on these, but I'm not really counting macros at the moment. So yeah, um, sorry guys, but just got tempted. All right guys, the last three things we're gonna have is this shake, so that's two scoops of whey protein, three big bananas, 500 milliliters of milk, 100 grams of oats, and one tea tablespoon. I always get teaspoon and tablespoon mixed up. Yeah, tablespoon of peanut butter. Next up, we have another bowl of Cheerios with a semi skim milk and cottage cheese. So it's like 1,000 calories. Plus, I'm not really sure how much that is. Probably about two to 300. Probably more actually. There's quite a lot of Cheerios there. And the cottage cheese is uh, about 300 calories as well. So this is the last three meals we're going to have before bed. Well, thanks a lot for watching guys. It has been great luck. Fitness and very dark for some reason. Subscribe for more videos. Remember to thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for the support again so far in these videos.